I'm going to talk to you about one of the reasons uh, injections like PRP and and exosomes and whatnot uh, may fail, and that. Failure is an, uh, a lack of understanding of where the hair follicle is below the sur surface of the skin. Uh, so I'm going to use a tool to kind of show you. So let's look at the different uh, w methods we can use to look at structures below the surface of the skin. We've got the CT scan, or computerized tomography. We've got the MRI, or magnetic resonance imaging and we have the ultrasound. Now the ultrasound has the highest axial resolution of all three. In fact, at 70 megahertz, it has a resolution of 30 micrometers per pixel. Now that's about half the diameter, a little bit less than half the diameter of the average hair follicle. Whereas uh, on an MRI scan, it's around 400 micrometers per pixel, which means that uh, the smallest thing it can pick up would be about the size of, of six uh, hair follicles. So it just doesn't have the resol resolution for us to be able to see hair follicles below the skin. So let's look at a 70 megahertz ultrasound of the skin compared to an 18 megahertz ultrasound. Um, Ultrasound has basically different shades of white and black. Uh, some would say it sh would be shades of gray. But uh, there are hyperechoic structures which are white and hypoechoic structures which are black. And the hair follicle falls somewhere in between. So we can see on this lower image at 70 megahertz, that we have this hair follicle that's growing into the skin and through the hypodermis and into the subcutaneous adipose. So, um, you know, the darker structure here is the dermis, the, I mean the whiter. And as we lose or becomes more translucent in the, in the uh, hypodermis or subcutaneous adipose, the bulb is down in this region. So the overall depth of the skin isn't that great. Now hair follicles can grow at, at different angles to the skin. And so at roughly uh, 60 degrees angle to the skin, uh, that hair follicle uh, is going to be more, is, will grow deeper. But average follicle is gonna be somewhere below 45 to 30 degrees angle to the skin. And so we can use trigonometry to determine how deep that follicle is. In this particular case, where it's about literally 43 degrees angle to the skin, and you can see these hypoechoic structures, these are all hair follicles that grow in an angle, the actual depth of that bulb is about 3.34 millimeters below the skin. And what does that mean? Well, if you inject below 3.34 millimeters, the growth factors in your PRP are not going to hit that hair follicle. It's going to go below it. So if the hair follicle is growing at a more acute angle, in this case, 30 degrees, that hair follicle is residing at about 2.45 millimeters below the skin. And the, the dermis is about two millimeters deep. So it's just into the adipose. Well, here you need to be somewhere between two and three millimeters with your injection. Otherwise, you're going to be too deep for the hair follicle. You know, things aren't going to go against gravity. They're not going to go up toward the surface of the skin. They're going to go down. Uh, so let's take a look at uh, some video imagery. And here you can see we're using ultrasound, and, and we can see how deep this needle is. It's 1.8 millimeters. And the total surface of the uh, scalp from the epidermis down to the skull, this hyperechoic structure here is the skull, uh, is about eight millimeters. And here's your, here's your needle. So you're in an okay depth there, but you're going to be in the dermis. 
Now, what about this uh, this image below it? Now, you see this 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 needle's coming in, and it's about 3.8 millimeters deep. So we preferentially like to be a little bit more shallow than that. So if you go, use, let's say, a four millimeter long needle, and you inject at an angle of about 30 degrees, you're going to be in the right depth. Now your problem is you have to find a four millimeter needle that's it should this should be about 25 gauge needle. Anything smaller could damage the platelets when you inject. So unless you're lysing the platelets prior to injection, uh, you need a, you know, a little higher gauge needle. So all these things can lead to problems with the injection of PRP or exosomes or other things that are targeting hair follicles to stimulate hair growth. Four Hair is run by Dr. Cole with 30 years of few hair restoration experience, and we offer the most cutting-edge technology available. In fact, the Four Hair Enterprise sub-company Cole Instruments manufactures custom-made tools and automated tools for hair restoration physicians all over the world. Our quality, expertise, and skills are superior to other clinics. Our reputation and results are the best in the world. It's time to restore your hair, it's time to choose Four Hair. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit the little bell button to get notifications of 4Hair's video uploads. For online consultation click on the link on the screen or in the video description.